Does the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra support Wi-Fi 7? Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> I just need yeah. my space right now. Uh, fresh off the G5 jet, on my own way to a brand new kit. Welcome back to eSIM Studios. My name is Taylor Bell. Um, taking you a little bit behind the scenes, I have, I'll show you some inside info that I check and we will all find out if the S24 Ultra and S24 series support Wi-Fi 7. As you know, the S24 Ultra is set to release here in just a few days and um, ironically, uh, Wi-Fi 7 standard is about to be released as well, um, both getting approval from the FCC. So let's go find out. Pulled up some information from the FCC um, before every each and every device, phone or electronic device really that gets sold in the United States has to be inspected and, and, and pass inspection obviously and certified by the FCC here in the United States. And I pulled the info from the S24 Ultra, which just uh, passed through the FCC with flying colors, may I add. But I got a screenshot here, and this will answer the question. All right, I got it. So if you look at um, uh, on the product information, if you go to 2.2 under device capabilities, it says this device contains the following capabilities. Um, on the, the first line is the GSM uh, bands that you get from your carriers and your towers. But on the second line, you see where it starts, it says 802.11, that's uh, Wi-Fi. Now the BGNAXBE, that's the different standards, right? So Wi-Fi, I guess, I guess it goes down to base Wi-Fi. Anyways, um, BGN was the basic Wi-Fi that we've had for years. Um, AX is the 6, Wi-Fi 6 standard. And 802.11BE is Wi-Fi 7. So this and WLAN, so this is Wi-Fi 7 capable. 5 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz. Um, and I'll take you to the FCC website here in just a second and show you all the certifications, all the testing they, they did for this Samsung device. Um, really cool, also link it in the description below. It's actually cool for nerds like myself that like to look at this information. Um, it gives you a good insight of the upcoming devices, right? I get a lot of my news leaks from the FCC's website, straight from the government. So the how it's gonna work is the S24 Ultra will be Wi-Fi 7 will be available on the device. However, you're not going to be able to use Wi-Fi 7 until after April 2024. So first thing I would first thing uh, uh, if you're interested, uh, make sure your phone keep your phones updated. Check them once a month, and then call your internet provider, ask them about Wi-Fi 7, tell them you have a Wi-Fi 7 enabled device. Um, now, a good thing with Wi-Fi 7 is it's backward compatible. So if you upgrade to a Wi-Fi 7 in your home and a Wi-Fi 7 router, that means all of your other devices, say you have an S24 Ultra, and that's the only device in your home that's Wi-Fi 7 uh, capable. Well, even if you get a Wi-Fi 7 router and your internet provider um, issues you the Wi-Fi 7, um, all your other devices are still gonna work. And your obviously your S24 Ultra will still work on the older models um, of Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi 7 uh, routers and internet service is backward compatible, meaning all of the older um, versions will still work, right? <clears throat> but this is just the first iteration of the next generation of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 6 uh, was here for I think we've had it for a few years, but Wi-Fi 7 is supposed to be the next generation That's going to be here for a while. I believe um, Let me show you the FCC website It's very very cool as I mentioned. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. I Love this right so Here is the it not only gives you specs on the Samsung, but it also you know tells you who filed it actually gives a name of somebody at Samsung their contact information I actually 
I may actually reach out and um, ask a few questions. But anyways, that's not the uh, point. Let's get back to the subject. Um, so here's the device. Look, here's the S24 Ultra. This is the model number right here. The, that's the official model number. And this basically, uh, look, a lot of this is gibberish. Um, it says FCC also published in, uh, internal images, external images, user manuals, and test results for wireless devices. They can be under the exhibits tab below. So this is the application. It's a portable handset. Um, it has a source FCC um, registered by Samsung Electronics, original equipment. And now it has 12 devices here. What are these 12, uh, 12 applications? This is probably the SKUs, I'm assuming. Uh, all the different models that Samsung has, right? So the S24, S24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra. Now, each one of those has a special SKU model number. Now, each one of those has, have a different storage variant. So each one of the different storage variants of the S24 has a special model number. Of the S24 Plus has a model number. Of the S24 Ultra have a model number. So I believe that's what this is all right here. And look, it was just certified on the 29th of November, basically just over a month ago. It, it passed through. Here you can operate frequencies of the um, uh, frequencies uh, of, and it just gives you a bunch of statistics and as I mentioned a lot of it's gibberish and I say gibberish meaning very very technical specifications and results from what they tested I understand most of it but even I don't understand all of it like hundred percent of it right but these are all the different frequencies you get the um, Wi-Fi frequencies right here um, just a lot of a lot of a lot of information as you can tell now the Wi-Fi 7 is going to be um, basically 6 gigahertz of, or and or sub 6 um, uh, wireless standard and here you have the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi so these these are Wi-Fi 6 right here gives you uh, just a bunch of different tests from uh, I mean excuse me results from the tests Wi-Fi 7 insanely fast uh with a maximum speed of 46 gigabits per second it's nearly five times faster than the best wi-fi available you can download a two hour 4k movie that takes up 45 gigabytes of storage in under eight so basically seven seconds you can download a two hour 4k movie you can download 45 gigabytes of information or and or data in just seven seconds that's how fast this is um let's go uh routers 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 let's do this let me see if anything is available hang on look at what we got here i pulled up i went to amazon pulled up wi-fi 7 router and they have them available already so if you want to stay on top of the game if you want to be ready uh for wi-fi 7 you're getting a new s24 ultra oh, by the way all snapdragon 8 gen 3 uh devices are going to have Wi-Fi 7 enabled. So no matter if you get the S24 Ultra, or you get the Xiaomi 14 Pro, or you get the OnePlus 12, uh, those are all rocking the uh, latest and greatest Snapdragon CPU, the 8th Gen 3, and they will all support Wi-Fi 7. But if you wanna go ahead, if you're getting one of those devices, and you wanna stay on ahead of the game, and you wanna go ahead and get a router, you can do it and then all you're waiting on is your network provider but let's see how much these are that's a mesh system i'm sure that's an arm and a leg let me see what this one is how much this one is 299 i mean that's up there but i mean we paid about that for ours we have the uh, google router mesh router system in our home with google fiber and that one Dang. 719 holy sh wow 
That other one doesn't look too bad. <laughs> 200, what is this? 299? 300 bucks versus, and that, that's, Lord have mercy. Well, I know what router I'm gonna buy. Now, I've heard internal rumors that Google is gonna release a new router in probably mid around when they release the a series for pixel if you are a google uh, internet and or router user like we are they are going to release a wi-fi 7 uh new mesh routers that'll enable wi-fi 7 usability but that's not going to be released until summertime around when the pixel 8 uh 8a will be released i believe in july so Google will have something out, so don't feel like you're just stuck to these two options. I think, to be completely honest with you, I think that's what we're going to do personally. I'm going to get the S24 Ultra, but I am going to wait for the Google new Google Wi-Fi 7 routers to be released in the summer and just probably buy one of those. Then we'll have Wi-Fi 7, then we'll have a bunch of fun and a bunch of testing. So that answers your question, if the new S24 Ultra supports Wi-Fi 7? And the answer is yes. Hell yes. Peace.